I am Jason Cantini. And I'm Wyatt Weed. And we are part of the production team and as well as co-writers of uh, the film Four Color Eulogy. I'm also one of the co-producers. And I'm the director and the director of photography. So we're here to talk about film, uh, but we're here to talk about film as fans of films. Right. But one of the things that's really frustrating to me and one of the first things I wanted to talk about is that as a fan who's also a filmmaker, a professional filmmaker, worked on big expensive feature films in Hollywood, um, have directed a feature film, um, and one of my frustrations is it just seems like sometimes the fans, they're, they're, so, f they're so eager about being a fan, they're so hyper about being a fan in the particulars of their world like Star Trek fans, or, or Lord of the Rings fans, or superhero fans, right. but they're not critical about movies. Uh, for example, people who, people who love the Star, the Star Trek films unconditionally because it's Star Trek, never minding whether or not they're good movies. Right, right. Actually, interesting that you bring that one up specifically. Um, I actually had a discussion with a guy today about the new J.J. Abrams Star Trek movies, and um, he he was this you know he's a hardcore Trek fan, and uh, you know he wasn't even looking at the new Abrams films as whether or not they were decent films. He was looking at it strictly as it was not his Trek, right. and so therefore he just didn't like yeah. it and thought it was a terrible film. Yeah. Um, and if somebody doesn't like something like that, that's fine. But to to go off of just that basis without even looking at the quality of the film, I agree that yeah, that's bugs because, me. Because the flip side then is that you get people who, like I know Trek fans who yeah they grew up with Star Trek in the '60s. They loved Next Generation. They loved Voyager. They loved Deep Space Nine. But then, despite any problems with the J.J. Abrams films, they will defend it vehemently to the death. Oh yeah, because it's Star Trek. Yeah, and God forbid. Recently, I, I made the mistake of posting on <laughs> Facebook. I suggested that maybe Benedict Cumberbatch was not necessarily the best choice to play Khan. I said I suggested the actor who was in the Mummy films, this uh, guy named Oded. Oded Fair. Fair, yeah. Oded Fair. Yeah, and I he's said great. that would have been kind of new and good, but it would have been kind of an echo back to the original right. Khan, and. Some of the Star Trek fans just got insane. And I love a good, healthy, critical debate, but they were like vehement and angry and then started attacking, like, you know, that I just wasn't a true Star Trek fan. And I just, I was just trying to talk about ideas. But what really got me was that one of them was talking about, I hate it when my filmmaker friends criticize movies. And I thought, well, there's no filmmaker friends to this. I am a filmmaker. I, I mean, it's really, that's what goes on my, my tax forms at the right. end of every year. It's what I, that's what I do professionally. And I, I sometimes, I don't think it may, gives me any more right to be a fan, but I do think I have a legitimate claim to critiquing films. And I feel like if fans would be more demanding, I think we'd get better films. But, but a lot of times, you know, they won't, they won't, um they won't offer any kind of suggestions or any thoughts because, as you said, they don't they don't know the process. They're not as familiar with the process, okay. so they can't sit there and say, um, you know, this doesn't work because of X, Y, and Z. They can say, oh, I don't like it because it doesn't fit the source material. Well, okay. um, I, it's I a hear big a lot chunk of, of carved in stone, and that's just what it is. Yes, and, okay. yes, and and you know, you don't have the um, uh, the, the filmmaking background right. like you like you said. I. I uh, deal with this, you know, at the comic shop. Sure. Um, and quite often in the uh, early 2000s when the X-Men movies were first coming out, okay. so many people coming in going, oh yeah, it was, it was okay. And I would ask, well, what, what was your issue? What was the problem? You know, if, if you thought that the script was weak or if you thought that the direction was bad, or the, okay, those are legitimate um, claims. No, the, their thing was, they're all wearing black. Well, y yeah, you're not wrong, <laughs> you know, I don't know, uh, y y yellow tights aren't going to translate <laughs> on screen no, no. the way they do on a page. No. I think they've and done they a, don't, yeah. and, and I think, yeah, and I think a lot of that is because they've never, it's not their craft, it's not their, their profession, they don't know it, so they don't, 
They don't look at it from that standpoint. And then when a filmmaker does come in to critique something, oh, well, they're just being a snob. Uh, well, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it would be like if a carpenter came into a, uh, a poorly built house and critiqued the hell out of it. Right. Um, you don't say to them, oh, well, you're just being a, a carpenter snob. No, this is a person that actually knows what they're talking about and they're yeah. saying this is bad. <laughs>